welcome to JTW tutorials. In this tutorials, we can see how to use all JSTL tags in all JSP applications. In the previous uh, JSTL tutorial, we have created one uh, database which is called a simple database which is created over here and its table is ELP. And right now, we need to create an application which can communicate with that database and insert the data and insert any and update the data to the database. And as we know already to create and uh, to, sorry to work with the database in JSP uh, with the MySQL database. So we need a MySQL connector your file as well. So first of all I will create a project. So go for a right click on the projects tab and a new project. So under new project you can go for Java web and web application. Click on the next. So the name of the application is uh, JSTL select queue. So we are working with the select statement in this application. So click on next and uh, next and uh, finish. So right now we have created with one uh, web application over here which is uh, having a default index.jsp and we having a default source package and in this application we don't need any servlets to be created to interact with the database so we are directly using a JSTL tags to interact with the database in the JSP applications itself so here what I will do is I can go with one more tag that is called a tag so before a tag I can go with the strong tag and within this strong tag I can go with anchor tag href equals to slash emp dot jsp I will go with and here after that employee I will put the name employee service so after this what I will need to do is I need a emp dot jsp application I will go for the jsp and then I will go for emp finish it right I have created with the emp dot jsp application here and also I'll be having index.csp as well. So right now what I need to do is uh, I have to interact with the database using the JSTL tags. To work with JSTL tags as I said in the previous tutorial, so we need a JSTL uh, char and to interact with the database from uh, the web application we need a MySQL connector, both the jar files we need here. To update the jar file to go for JSTL select a web application, right click and go for the properties. So here comes the properties project properties tag. So under that we can go for the libraries. So under libraries we find add jar slash folder here. So click on this add jar folder. Alright, so we got a uh, several job files over here which are already downloaded here. So one is uh, JSTL and one more I need add your MySQL connector. Click on open, click on OK. So that both jar files will be uploaded to this JSTL select web application which are available here JSTL 1.2 as well as MySQL connector so these are the uh, under library folders so right now what I need to do is I need to use 